Well, welcome back everyone. Uh, this is the last video in the build series for the self-balancing robot version 2. So today we're going to take a look at the calibration and the setup of the parameters that are needed in the code for the balance robot and also setting up the stepper motor drivers as well. So let's get into it now. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is calibrate the MPU. So open the calibration sketch, check you're on the right serial port and Arduino Uno is the board that you want to select. Uh, download this calibration sketch. And when it's complete, you'll see that it's done downloading down the bottom. So now we want to open the serial monitor and on my version just open it on 9600 board and it's asking just to hit any key so hit a key and enter or click the send button and you'll see that the sketch starts the calibration process. Now this can take a little while. but uh, don't be tempted to move the robot. And the robot should be positioned upright during this process. When it's complete, it'll print out the offsets that it calibrated and the offsets that you should enter into the code. So the next thing we wanna do is just open the robot sketch and scroll down until you find the calibration constants. And what we want to do is just update those offsets with the ones that are relevant for your MPU. And once you've done that, just save the robot sketch to make sure they're not lost. And that's all there is to calibrating the MPU. So the next thing you're going to want to do is just make sure that that worked. So just uncomment the send angle control define from the top of that sketch and upload the sketch to the robot. And once that's finished, you'll see that it says done uploading. Just open up the serial monitor and uh, just set for 9600 board. And you'll see that it resets the robot again and runs through the setup. And then into the main loop and you'll see that it's reporting quite a lot of information. Now if you look at the angle column you'll see the actual balance angle there and if you tilt your robot backwards and forwards you should see that move and of course if you have it upright then it should be at zero. So next we need to set the battery alarm so just uncomment send battery at the top of the sketch make sure everything else is commented out in the defines and upload that to the robot. Mm -hmm. 
Once that's finished uploading, just scroll down to the battery functions down near the bottom of the sketch and open the serial monitor so that you can see the raw and the mapped values coming through. So you should be doing this with a power supply connected up to the robot and you need to adjust the supply voltage coming into the robot until the raw value is reading 1024. Then what you need to do is set the high map value in the code to be what the actual voltage is to two decimal places. So if the voltage was reading 12.8 you would enter a value of 1280 into the high map value. So once you've done this, save the sketch so that that change isn't lost. So all that's left really is to calibrate the current to the stepper drives. So to do that we open the stepper control test sketch and upload that to the robot. Once we've got that uploaded, open up the serial monitor and what this allows you to do is actually send a control signal to the stepper drivers. If you hit the Q key it'll increase the drive by 5 in one direction and if you hit the A key it'll decrease the drive by 5 and it'll allow you to go positive and negative and if you hit S that will actually stop it and take it back to 0. So what you want to do is increase the drive signal a little bit and adjust the potentiometer on the stepper drive carrier until the motor is running nice and smoothly. And obviously you'll need to do this on both stepper drivers. So now we're ready to try the robot for real. So open the sketch and uncomment the define for sending angle and control and upload that to the robot. Once it's finished uploading then open the serial monitor and you can see that it's gone through the setup function. now processing the main loop and we're getting control information back. The angle seems to be adjusting okay, the outputs seem to be the right action and if we give the robot a try it seems to be balancing okay now. Okay, well there you go. It seems to be working really well, no issues at all. I've actually tested it with the iOS app as well and it's controlling quite nicely, driving forward, backwards, turning either way. So I think we can consider that a success. Okay, cheers for now. If you like what I'm doing then please do like the video. If you'd like to see more then please subscribe and don't forget to hit the chime so you get notified when I post something new. And I'll put a couple of links here to some other videos you can look at.